What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and what was supposed to be a celebratory time during the final week of school turned into a horrible scene as fights broke out at a Glendale school district meeting over the inclusion of the LGBTQ plus studies into the curriculum. This is personal for me as I have a child in that school district, so I wanted to talk about the details of what's actually going on. Let's get into it. The fights broke out during a Glendale Unified School District board meeting, which was set to discuss the inclusion of LGBTQ plus studies and the recognition of June as Pride Month. Demonstrators from both sides showed up to either support or protest the inclusion of the resolution. Glendale school officials note that the Pride Inclusive curriculum is not new. It's actually been in effect since 2019. However, the resolution is presented for reconsideration every year. Board meetings have been attended by protesters for the last several weeks and Glendale police were on site because they said previous clashes had included shouting but no physical confrontations and they wanted to be there proactively. Advocates say that the LGBTQ plus representation is especially important when it comes to inclusion in school studies. Opponents, however, say that they don't necessarily oppose the LGBTQ plus community but they don't want that content to be introduced to school children. Large barricades set up by the Glendale police to control crowds were containing hundreds of demonstrators outside of the district headquarters. An hour into the public comments portion of the agenda, things began getting very heated both inside and outside the meeting. Some protesters were waving American flags, others were waving pride flags, some were chanting, some were screaming. And again, as those public comments started, the furor began to raise and get more intense. Police eventually installed a yellow wire barrier near the building's entrance. However, as the fighting and the screaming became more intense, fights broke out and at least three people were arrested. The three people arrested who were not identified faced various charges, including obstructing officers as well as the unlawful use of pepper spray. This was definitely an anticipated event for both sides. The group Glendale Out posted on their Facebook page to come out and support the protests. The far-right extremist group The Proud Boys were also in attendance with some leaving behind stickers to promote their group. It's important to note that Glendale Superintendent Vivian Ekchian actually put together a fact sheet and an FAQs correcting disinformation and providing the facts of what the Glendale Unified students learn about this curriculum at school. While the protests weren't expected to get violent, they were expected. Just last week at Satakoy Elementary in North Hollywood, there were similar protests which culminated in a transgender teacher's pride flag being burned inside the classroom. So look, this is an absolute hot button issue that's tearing our communities apart. But it's unfortunately something that we need to keep dealing with here in Los Angeles. So what do you think and where do you stand? Let me know in the comments. Either way, this issue's not going away anytime soon and needed to be addressed. All right, LA. It's been a minute.